Hey guys, today I thought we would play with the stuff, some of the stuff that we got in our Ipsy. So I have everything still sitting out here and I don't want this to take like forever. So I am going to take the serum that we got. I have not tried any of this. It's probably got a lock on it, right? Yes, you take the little cap off and oh, it's clear and very liquidy. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this and dot it around and then work it through. It doesn't take much. Oh, that was more than I really needed, but I can take it down my neck, so no big deal. I don't take it directly onto my eyelids, but I do take it up into this upper area. Unless it says eye cream and this doesn't, it just says can be used twice a day it doesn't say no animal testing so there is that then on top of that i'm going to go into the, the 111 or the 111 skin and it still does i put the little sealer cap back on it and i'm just going to pick up a little bit and same thing dot it around That smells really good. For $200, it should smell really good. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. I will never have this again, so I've got to use it sparingly. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let that soak in for just a moment, and I'm done with that. For primer, I'm going to use Lancome. I've not used this one in a while. This is La Base Pro. It is like a silicone primer. Again, just a little pump tube. You know, I'm just using a little bit there. And again, I just rub it between my fingers. I dot it around. And you know, I just smooth it out. And I just mainly focus it here. Cause that's my worst areas i do have some breakouts going on all right here's a little one right here's a little one they are little hormonal breakouts nothing major and now my fingers are all really slick so i will drop everything i touch <coughs> i am still under the weather guys i'm on antibiotics finally got the antibiotics have me something to drink no this is not coffee this is the southern comfort no alcohol but the Southern, Southern Comfort brand eggnog, the vanilla spice, I've never had an eggnog. Never. And I kept telling my hubby, I want to try it. I want to try it. I want to see what it is. And he's like, you're going to hate it. So I got the vanilla spice and I actually love it. It's just really thick. So I mix it with a little 2% um, milk just to thin it down. I love it. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a melted milkshake. But anywho, now that that's settled down a little bit. I'm going to use the Insta Age Rewind. My shade is 150 Classic Ivory. Let me just adjust my mirror. I have not used this in a while. Let me crank her up a little bit. And you can see that's like a perfect match. It's a little light, but it's it's perfect. Put a little under there. I'm doing a little bit more than usual. Why not? Now here's well, I wanted to use that. I've been wanting to use this brush. This one came in BoxyCharm, and I kept saying I was going to use it. I was going to use it, and I kept forgetting it. And, guys, I used it yesterday, and I love it. It just blends everything out so nicely. Oh, my gosh. Now, I still love my InStylish sponges. And for certain products, like Tinted Moisturizer... That's perfect, but if I want, I don't know, this something about this with a fuller coverage, which this is not full coverage at all, but it just it looks really smooth. Really smooth. I mean, and there is nothing, look, there is nothing on that brush. Nothing. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm just gonna grab one out of here. I should be grabbing my use it basket behind me, but I have been using that one. This is the 
I'm gonna put a little extra just so you can see that brush in action. I'm gonna do a little bit more than I normally do. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define in C5. And there's that brush. I could use the smaller one. There's a smaller one. But just to tap this out. Look how easy that was. I did not think I was going to like these brushes. But look, I'm just barely tapping that out. And it's done. Done. And look, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing on that brush. There's nothing. Okay, so there's that brush. To set everything, I'm going to use that brush that came in. And I'll use my little cheat sheet here. That was the Complex Culture brush, and it retailed for $35. I'm going to use my cheat sheet. And I'm just going to grab this little Clinique powder. This is a deluxe sample. It's another one I've been trying to use up. And get it over here in the cap where I can get some out. And that was quite a bit. I'm just pressing, picking some up, and then just pressing. And then you can kind of dust away anything extra. And I think that's, that's just beautiful. That's flawless. I mean, it's simple. You saw how fast I did that. There's a little bit left that fell onto my palette, so I'm just going to pick it up with a brush and leave it on the brush because I'm going to use that to set my eye primer. This is just the e.l.f. A couple bucks eye primer. One of my favorites. And I'm just going to pat that all over. And while I have that on my fingers, and my fingers are kind of slick, this is just my cream brulee. Just to get a little moisture going, because my lips are feeling really dry. We have the humidifier going. The hubby and I are both sick. His sick is a different crud than mine. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, it's a different crud. Mmm. That is so good. So I'm just going to take that excess powder, going to pat that over my eyes. So that is set. I'm going to take my little bronzer here. Guys, I'm trying to use this one up. She's getting there. So I'm just working the brush into that corner where the product is. And again, I'm just patting. I'm going to pat along with my hairline. This brush is so soft, and I really like how it fits in my cheeks. Then you can kind of come back and blend that out. I think, there we go, the other cheek got a little more than the other one, so we'll even her out. See anything left on the brush, I dust under the chin, nothing major. And I'm going to keep that brush right here because we're going to use it for blush as well. Um, we got the Itsy. I love this palette. I have one in a kind of an aqua color. It holds blushes and highlights. This is a cool tone assortment that they sent to us. Did it give us the shade names on the back? No, it did not. I didn't look to see. But there is no shade names under the backs. This is going to be what I use. I may pull in some other colors. I don't know. I really just need to stick to that, don't I? I may pull in this one Laura Lee shade, which is not sky. It has that little bit of a gold glitter to it. <coughs> so I may pull in that one shade. Just to have a little bit more of some depth going on. I'm going to grab my big fluffy brush. Any big fluffy brush, guys. I've had this one for years. 
This is BH Cosmetics. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what the name of it is. It's just a big fluffy blending brush. I'm picking up that lightest ivory shade. Did you guys get this box? Let me know. I thought this was like one of the best boxes they've done all year. And I'm just patting that all over. Yeah, my eyes are already set. I know, I know. But you're like, Shannon, didn't you just set your eyes? Yes, I did. But this just kind of gets the highlight. It's already highlighted. The highlight's done. I'm going to come into this beautiful, really light, lilac y kind of gray shade. I don't know how this does with a brush. So we're going to be, we're going to be careful. So I get really quiet. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm just fluffing it on. Just fluff, fluff. It does have some pearl to it, so if you don't like pearl in your crease, but it's not it's not enough to like be crazy. The other gray shade is a matte. I could e easily use that, but. What are the lilac-y shade? Guys, did you see my wig review? Let me know what you thought. I will get better at doing them. I've never, that's my first wig I've ever tried on and played with. So let me know down below what you thought. Would you like to see more wig reviews? I was very, very happy with her. I'm gonna wear her to work tomorrow. Well, maybe. I have an eight-hour day tomorrow. I might try to start off with like a shorter day than eight hours. <coughs> I'm going to switch over to my Jeffree Star brush, which I absolutely love, which is this one. She needs to be cleaned. I'm going to come in with this shade, and then we'll go into the Laura Lee shade. I'm just tapping into that corner. Tap off. And... Very pretty. They blend really nicely. Do you see that? How soft and easy that is, which I'm not picking up a lot of product and I am tapping it off and I'm just fluffing it on to the lid and then what's left is going up into the crease. Super, super, super pretty. I'm going to deepen that just a little. Right back in here. Super pretty. I want to come in with an even smaller brush. This is the Luxie little round brush. And this is where I want to use the Laura Lee shade. I don't know if that gold is going to if you tap it off. Some of that glitter comes out. And this one I'm going to stamp right here in the corner. Stamp it. Then pull it forward. And then pull it up. Just like that. No big deal. Black is not hard. You just got to start small. It took me a while to learn. Oh, look how easy that just blended right out. Just that one little dab, dab, dab. Tap, tap, tap. We'll stamp it. Pull it forward. And start working it up. Just like that, we have a really pretty, easy, smoky eye. And you can come back and blend this out some more. Direct your tails however you want to direct them, but I think that's, that's good. I don't want to go any heavier than that. I really don't. 
on the lids, you know I want some sparkle and some shine. So, I'm going to take my Becca Highlight and Prosecco Pop and my little Alam Alamar. So, my little brush I always use. Yes, Alamar. And we're going to load that brush up and... Fill in that little empty V. I'm not going over the black. You know how usually I'll drag it over? I'm kind of staying out of that dark space and staying right in that empty space, leaving that dark alone. You can always go back over it if you feel like you've lost that darkness, but you want to leave it today. And the under eye, we're going to do the same thing. Just grabbing a pencil brush. This is a BH Cosmetics little pencil brush. I'm going to grab the lavender kind of gray color. Just like that. And then we're going to go into the, the not sky color, I think. I'm just going to go straight to the darker color just on the very tip of that brush and I'm actually gonna blow a little bit of it off we don't want raccoon eyes all right we have the Illamasqua Illamasqua liner that came in with it I have not opened that yet so I am going to use the Hank and Henry which will just give me the same, same effect. It's a black liquid felt tip liner. I have gotten better at using. <laughs> that was easy. It's always this eye that gives me the fit because There we go. I'm not as good going that direction. Under the eye, I've been trying to use it my sex kitten, so I'm just going to grab sex kitten and just a little bit. Deepen up that lower lash line. Guys, this would be gorgeous with falsies. I'm not going to put on falsies. It would take me another hour. We don't have that much time. I would do the Dior Show lash primer. If you have a lash primer and you don't want to do falsies, that's great too. I'm going to grab Carbon Black. Very nice. Don't forget to do the bottom, Shannon. I don't really see any fallout either, so that's fantastic. Okay, so lashes are done. Brows, good grief. I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. That's what I've been using. Actually, let me grab the Amuse, because you guys have not seen me use that, I think, on video, and I told you I would update you guys. It did not perform well in the unboxing. It, it just doesn't, and it's really hard to see. It is taupe. Um, I mean, it, it's taupe, but once you get it going through your brows, It's fine. I mean, it's just, it did fine. I 
I mean, it's, it does great, but it is taupe. I could have probably went a shade darker and it would do a lot better. But usually when I do taupe, it's not quite as light as this. This, I mean, this is super light. Um, so maybe if I buy another one, I'll go like a light brown or whatever the next shade is. Mm. Okay, blush. Since we're on Shop Miss A, I'm going to clean off that brush in my switch. This is the Lumi Radiant Blush Shop Miss A in Ravish. Guys, these are so pigmented. Tap them on the back of your hand and just very lightly fluff. And they do have a little bit of a sheen. So if you don't want to do highlights, you don't because this does have a little bit of a glow to it. But you know I want to do some glow. So we're going to keep that highlighter we used. Cleaning off my highlight brush. I feel a sneeze coming on. So if I sneeze, I, I apologize in advance. <laughs> Woohoo! I think that's my first on camera sneeze. As long as I've been doing this, which is over two years, guys. Can you believe that? That is my first on camera sneeze. And it's going to make my eyes water. If it messes up that pretty eye makeup I just did, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> so mad I'm going to go ahead and highlight that cupid's bow so there is that what else guys what else what are we missing um I think that's pretty much it I have a dose of colors that came in one of our boxes I don't know which one it was it was either boxy charm or ipsy so it was one of them this is the shade flirty And I love this shade because it doesn't give me that butthole effect, as some people call it. Especially Raw Beauty Christie. If you watch Raw Beauty Christie, you know. But I love this shade because it doesn't it doesn't do that on me. Guys, that is so pretty for a super easy glam holiday look it's not the red lip some people can't do a red lip some people does they don't know how to do this the smoky eye without going raccoon and guys it took me a long time of practice to, to do to work with black and gray and not get the raccoon eyes so just practice it washes off try it again practice that's what it's that's that's what I had to do that's what I had to do and then just play with your eye shape Hooded eyes, almond eyes, close eyes. My eyes, I always kind of do that same technique because I just feel like it makes my eyes look more open and it helps the hooded, the hoodedness. So just play with your eye shape. But yeah, that is it for the Ipsy. Was there anything in the Ipsy I didn't use? Just the eyeliner. And like I said, I'm not opening that because I have the Hank and Henry going and I'm not gonna open it until the Hank and Henry one's done. So that's it for the Ipsy. Guys, tell me what you think about this look. Fantastic for the holidays, right? All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And leave me some comments down below what you thought about the wig review. If you've not seen it, go check it out. And I will see you guys on the next one.